What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Energy Healing Tarot, one, two, three. It's your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop some jewels and love. Taurus, you are up. So this is for Taurus, Summarizer, and Venus, and the Cross Watchers, because we know you guys exist. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general message, so it cannot resonate with everyone. Hell, it may not resonate with anyone, and that's all good, too. But nonetheless, take what's for you, leave the rest behind. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel before you head out, hitting that bell button so you know when those videos drop. If you feel implied to, to let me know, Karmic Bond, I knew it, I knew it, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but if you feel implied to um, leave your comments below, let me know what's going on with your situation, talk to me. I read them all, I respond to most, I pick up those energies and you might get special messages delivered to you in the next reading, okay? If you're on any of those social media platforms, go ahead and follow me on over there. Over there, you'll get information in regards to this channel's updates, as well as personal readings, which right now, guys, everything is lowered for the month of September. If you listen to previous messages, then you know why. But you'll see that there, as well as you'll get updates in regards to Micah and Me Energy, which the shop is now officially open. The website is up and running with our latest jewelry line, as well as our energy healing bath soaps so uh, all that information is on the social media platforms but i'll also drop those things in the description box below also on twitter you'll find where i'll put some um channel messages from time to time so yeah go ahead and follow me over there you know get fun over there a little entertaining and shit like that um but yeah so taurus how I just said karmic bond and I felt like that. I felt like somebody from your past was coming back. It's a karmic situation. Somebody that you've cut ties with. Because I know that y'all have had people from your past watching y'all glow up and shit. And who wants to come back in heavy and hard. Okay. I already. I know that. I, I've been watching y'all. If it ain't between y'all and Capricorn. Yeah. Y'all been doing some major glow up. And y'all exes has been like on y'all ass, bitch. <laughs> like for real but this one in particular like they they still think about what you used to do to them they feel like they can come in and like put it down on you and you know you just get caught back up in them again or whatever but i'm letting you know now even if you lonely if you think you lonely now wait until tonight when that person like fucking be up and gone or you got some random ass dude or chick calling your phone asking if you was messing with tony or Teresa again don't ask what these names came up well <laughs> my daughter names her her dolls and stuff some wild ass names so i yeah i have taken on my daughter's naming style <laughs> Teresa. but yeah so <laughs> Yeah, so be careful and cautious, you know, of dipping and dabbling back into that energy, especially if, you know, you've been doing very, very well. You don't want to bring on any karmic cycles or get yourself caught up in no drama and bullshit that you don't need to be caught up in. I like how you did that, spirit. <laughs> it's a up, no, 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 no. So I like how you did that. So this is my little personal oracle deck that I'm working on. It's called Because You Thought It. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's called because you thought it and this is pretty much you know thoughts that people think but don't really necessarily say like on white chicks when they was like britney but she's like you said it but you thought it you know whatever but that's ideally what this is so this card that popped out is either thoughts that you have thoughts that your person has or thoughts from an outside energy so it says yeah i fuck your man leave me with him a thought somebody who's thirsty a snake in the grass a fin a family or an ex like I said, ex coming back who's just coming around. They're a snake in the grass. They're coming around. They thirsty as fuck. They see you doing your thing and they want to fuck you. What I say, envy, okay? Why she get to live good? A fake friend, a foe, an enemy, a frenemy. This is like that ex that's coming back. They see you living good and now they want to come and fuck your shit up. All right, that's it, Taurus. That was your message. Don't fuck with dumb, okay? I'm playing. But, um, yeah, so yeah, affirmation, harmony, because that is where you guys are right now. I know in my heart that when something is right, it feels easy and breezy, even though that sounds cheesy. With this in mind, I banish all stress, insecurity, and tedious work from my relationships. Then I invite harmonious relationships into my life and let them show up on their own time. 
easy breezy things are really punctual. So yeah, this person always keeps showing up at the wrong fucking time or they're right on fucking time. Like every Friday on payday, like every payday, this person always hitting you up and always there. Or every time you post up a new picture, you talk about a new boo or something, somebody who cute, or you might just be like, ooh, Mel Crush Monday or whatever the hell. And it could be like some famous nigga that you probably never ever be with. This person is like on your shit, like instantly. They know how to show up on time for that, but they couldn't ever show up on time for you when they had you, okay? So yeah, let this person go. They only coming around to mess with you because you looking good. Let this person go. Cut your own damn grass. You don't need them to come take your trash out, walk your dog, or take the snow off your car. Get your damn car covered so you can snatch that bitch off and boom, clean car, okay? No, you don't need them to come and do none of that shit. I respect the power of solidarity and look for opportunities to unleash it. When a loved one has to do something tough, I'll heed their often silent but sometimes loud and whiny call and participate in the toughness with them. Everything is easier when a partner, cohort, or sidekick joins you. The only thing that's not easier is feeling resentment, which I suppose is the overall point. So yeah, let them continue to go out and do their own thing and you do what you do. You be your own superman, your own superwoman. Let them go out there and prune their own fucking shit. You got your shit. Uh-uh. Don't let them come up and mess with you. You guys been doing real good. So, energy of the relationship, okay? Or this thing. How you feel. Your energy here, that's their energy. The challenge between you guys. Your advice, their advice, and the outcome of the situation of whoever this loved one, this other person is that you're thinking of, okay? The cross watcher. This could be the one. Somebody saying that this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Honeymoon. Enjoy the blessed of holiday time together. So, yeah. Okay. There's an ex who's just watching. They're just like, yeah, give them a moment and they fuck you. So they think. You're waiting on somebody who's more harmonious. I feel like this is the person that you're waiting on to come in. Who's taking time. I feel like you, you've you already met this person. But possibly they're getting their shit together. But in the meantime you have this outside energy. Who is jealous of what you got. And want to come in and fuck up what you got. Let's be real. Okay. Or you could feel like this person is the one. Let me tell you. They're really not. You need to take some time back. <laughs> Enjoy the blissful holiday time together. Or you know. Even spend that one moment. I feel like you bold enough. You solid. A lot of you guys are solid enough to go and fuck with this person one time and see that they ain't shit and know that you really need to dead they ass completely and close all that cycle. Because they could be the one. Or they could really turn out and be that asshole that you know them to be and just not fuck with them totally and entirely, okay? But I do feel like this here, though, I'm really feeling more so that this is like good new energy, that harmony, that balance energy. I feel that this outside information has more to do with solidarity, which you just letting that ex or whoever it is go and do their thing and you do your thing. It's like, no, bruh, I'm working on something better here, okay? What you got underneath the deck? Yeah, you're working on something better here. You're nurturing yourself. You're loving on yourself. You're waiting for a more emotional, fulfilling love to come into your life. Some of you also may be mothers, so you're focusing on being a mom and taking care of your kids, doing what's best for them, bringing more harmony and balance into your life, you know? putting on your superwoman cape or your superman cape if you're a single dad. You know, I'm not knocking. Y'all exist, okay? I know some. But, um, yeah, you know, you putting on your cape and doing your thing, and it's like, fuck you. I don't need you. Like, mm-mm. I'm good. So, mutual energy between you and love interest right now is that there is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, okay? And that's what I'm saying. I feel more so that this could be, like, new energy for you guys. Definitely not the ex. This is like new energy. You have this ex person who keeps trying to call you up and wanting to deal with you and wanting your time and attention. But it's like you got somebody else. This person knows you got somebody else. That's why they're showing up. That's why they're... It says easy breezy, breezy things are rarely punctual. This person is difficult and they show up on time all the fucking time. <laughs> As I say that, this person is difficult. Yeah. And the Queen of Cups, here you are again, showing up, okay? But could be done with a water sign. This is definitely um, Scorpio, but Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a feminine water sign, or just a nurturing, loving, mothering energy that you're being, okay? Yeah, needing to make a decision here. Somebody is putting you in a situation. What, what situation? What 
what situation do I pick? What relationship do I pick? What will actually make me happy? Where is the harmony at? I feel that, you know, that breaks down as 10 rolling into one. You're going to end the old dynamic. Like I said, you could have children with somebody with this person, especially showing up as the Queen of Cups. This could be somebody that you um, co-parent with and they want to keep coming back and forth in and out your life every time you're doing well because they're not a solid person, but you are. And they want to keep coming back and forth in your life. And it's like now you're moving on. Somebody's coming in who's going to be around and support and be there all the time. And it could be somebody that you were with before this person and now they're coming back around and it's like, you know what, damn, you know, the whole time it was always you. I shouldn't have like did that to you. It's always been you. And now like you're trying to decide, like, do I go and have new passion to start and have the world or do I keep going back and still with this stuck ass, stagnant, passionate energy back here? I know I want a beautiful union. I have a connection here, a strong connection with this person. But what is making me happy? Some of you guys are drinking, trying to figure this shit out, trying to make a decision. Careful that on that, okay? Like, just, just be careful. You're overindulging, extra drugs, all that, whatever. Just be careful with that, okay? Too much sex, that's what I'm saying. And if, they, say, the person that you want to choose and be with, they're not around, you can easily fall back into the arms of your ex. And that's not a good look, okay? But I do see here that you're trying to decide whether or not you want to totally ten of cups a dynamic to ace of cups have something or if you're going to stay in i guess whatever dynamic that you are possibly with with some ex somebody who comes around and try to make something happy but i do see that if you do stay with this if you stay with the stuck stagnant energy that you'll find yourself in like a great depression like overindulging and drinking and drugs and shit like that you know just to deal with this situation but you have something more beautiful here i feel that you guys should definitely Choose the Ten of Cup path into the Ace of Cup, opposed to sticking with this Two of Cups and now finding yourself stuck in a not, I'm not, granted the Nine of Cups is like wish fulfillment, being happy, but I'm picking up more so of if you choose that Two of Cups and don't let it roll like it needs to, then you'll find yourself overindulging to compensate for the emotional lack that you feel in the relationship or, you know, feeling like you didn't choose the correct passionate start here, Okay. Your energy, mm, Jesus, your energy here, Taurus, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance, okay? That's what I'm saying, like, needing to decide which relationship is worth it to you, okay? Stay positive, positive thinking. Look at everything. Write your list, pro and con of folks out, you know, pros and cons of messing with my ex or my child's parent, um, What's the good? What's the bad? Where have we been? Where where were we going? Where could we possibly go? You know, but um, just Jesus, being as positive as you can about the situation. Yeah, because it's racking you up in your mind here. You really need to put an end to these illusions here. What is this deception? Yeah, divine timing is at play with that energy. Two seven, seven of cups, seven of swords, lies and deceptions, deceit. Ooh, that's three of swords and heartache, okay? So you know that there's a situation that breaks you down. And Ace of Wands peeking out. You know that you need to go towards something new, but you're racked up in your head. Look, you can co-parent, and it's okay to love somebody from a distance. You don't have to keep beating yourself up and going back and forth and dealing with this energy, okay? It's time to put an end to it. Cancel that motherfucker. Scorpio energy here, but cancel that motherfucker for real. Because this other person thinks very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. They need you to make a decision. They know that, you know, you got your child's parent on the outside or whatever, or, you know, some crazy ass ex who keeps stalking you. But they need you to hurry up and make a decision because you're moving like fucking molasses. And I don't think they can honestly take it. Yeah, they're really having the strength here to hold on and wait until a judgment is truly called. But it's taking a long ass time. And at this point, I'm feeling that they're getting anxious. And it's like, yo, you need to figure out what you want to do because I'll just move on. And, you know, take my offer elsewhere. I'm going as slow as you need me to. But at this point, it's kind of like you keep going back and forth. It's like they kind of know that you're going back and forth. The problem is, is that it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. That's the issue right now. You, you need to close out these cycles, okay? Saturn, I'm just going to say that. If you've been listening to my videos or anybody else's videos and you know about September and Capricorn and Saturn and the whole retrograde and all that and the 29th or whatever, then... Yeah, divine timing is at play. Sagittarius type energy here for me. Then we got the Six of Pentacles, okay? 
equal give and take, trying to make something balance out, trying to have a balance. Again, judgment, calling judgment on a cycle here to change the way a cycle moves. I got the eight of swords peeking out. But again, being caught up in your head, mental defeat, mental conflict, mental prison, you not being sure what to do, you being manipulated by somebody of your past, this ex person who just wants you for sex or wants you for what you have. Like this person's going to come in and deplete you. Okay. They're going to be the reason why you need to drink every fucking night. Your advice is you need to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort towards this new person, okay? Because honestly, this new person is bringing you harmony. Gr granted, they may, you, may not, you may feel like they didn't show up at the right time, but they showed up right on fucking time, okay? They showed up right on fucking time. Make the effort. Yes, reconcile. Get with this person. Celebrate and be merry and be happy with this new person here, okay? Yes, you have victory in this relationship. They're not player energy. They're not in and out and flighty. Okay, you don't need to be in and out and flighty. They're showing up as a king of pinnacles, solid, a husband material, okay? Solid, husband material, marriage card, Taurus energy, Taurus energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine earth energy, Gemini energy here, soulmate, okay? This is somebody that you should want to do this with. It's very victorious here with this person. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you have something beautiful and brilliant going on with this person. Now we dropping down two sixes here. Something that brings about a balance in your life, okay? Their advice, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Or in the same breath, they also know that you are working on healing family issues, okay? That's the advice that's coming from the end or the advice that's going to you. It's like, look, yes, Taurus has a family. They have somebody that they co-parent with. You know, you just, you got to understand that they're trying to get through that. They're trying to do what's best for their children right now, okay? Like, you have to understand that. Yes, hermit here, Virgo energy. They're trying to change the fate when it comes to dealing with the father figure in their life here, okay? Or the fact that, you know, you could be an Aries cross watcher or whatever, or a Taurus, or a Virgo. And it's just like, you know, you need to go with them and understand that they're doing the best that they can to gain control and set boundaries to this because they want to do what's right. They want to make sure that they're coming to you in proper alignment here. You know, that it there won't be any nasty cycles or, you know, ugly lessons or things interfering, interjecting with the harmony and balance that you can have with this person. Okay. Outcome is let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Okay. So, Take a step back, go talk to your mom, your sisters, your girlfriends, your dads, your brothers, your homies, whatever. Just go get the advice from people that you need so that way you can figure it out. I'm also seeing an angel here holding a big old clear quartz crystal ball. So, you know, go and get those readings that you need, okay, so that you can figure out which opportunity or what you need to do exactly what is more tangible what is more realistic go do some praying here okay i'm seeing the church go pray you know meditate go within yourself as well this is going to take a lot of times where you guys are going to have to depend on other folks to help you out in this situation you might even be needing to go to the courts here yeah as i'm looking at this empress in here i swear that was a tower sliding back down shit's gonna come crashing down either way but you need to follow your intuition it's asking you to follow your intuition go and talk to folks get the opinions i feel like you have people who know both of these individuals who will be able to help give you insight who will sit and listen to you talk through your problems but you have a new opportunity in front of you you need to follow your intuition and you know weigh your pros and cons out like i said make the list you know um if that's what you are, if you're a list person, make the list or just really think about why this past person is coming back around and think about what it is that they have done to you or, you know, why you guys didn't work out, why you couldn't stay together as a family in a union. Think about that. OK. And ask yourself, what is their motive for why they're coming back now? Is it because you have new opportunities in front of you? OK. Look into that. OK. Stop and think. And it was like, OK, maybe it's because, you know, when I got this new job you know, then they started coming around. And when I got this new car and then all of a sudden they were calling me and wanting to come back around. And when I moved into this new place or when I started posting this on, think about when this person tried to come back and re into your life and ask yourself, why are they here now? If they couldn't be here for me and the children or be here for me back then, back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. You are on me. Okay. Mike Jones. So karmic bond. Okay. <laughs> karmic bond interfering right now. Let's get this. Taurus, 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in a cross watcher. Let's close them out. It's time to pause and reflect. Like, I'm about to pause this to get that card. Pause and reflect while I get this card. All right. So, yeah. You're at the end of a learning cycle. Not a phase. This is a complete cycle. This is a karmic cycle. If you go back and you engage with this person, you're going to keep the cycle going. That's that's what I'm saying to you, okay? But again, we all have free will. You have the choice to go back and mess with this person. But understand that currently you're at the end of the cycle. You have to make the right choice. Use your intuitive understanding, okay? If you need a personal reading, like I said, the information is listed below. You can do my one question, one oracle type reading. That's five bucks. I turn that around in like two days. And I can just help you out real quick, you know, spit out what you need to know, ask your question, give you your answer, give you a little oracle advice, send you on your way, okay? But I feel like, you know, you need to pause and reflect and think about this. Talk to your friends, get the, you know, the spiritual healing, the help that you need so that you can make sure that you're making the right decisions. Because at the end of the day, you have something harmonious coming in. This person is waiting on you, okay? Just, mm-hmm. Book a reading book a reading. So yeah, that's what I got for you, Taurus. Um, you guys know what to do until the next time we speak. Peace out.